Earlier at 5, we heard from this man, Tim Drakeford. He says the FBI interviewed him three times about corruption in the demolition program. The city of Detroit says he is an unreliable witness because he's now banned from that program for questionable practices. And tonight, the story continues. The local four defenders have obtained never before seen emails, letters, and depositions that are now part of the FBI investigation into possible corruption in Detroit's demolition program. State spent millions of dollars on an audit that suggests bid rigging and collusion was taking place. They turned it over to the FBI, but went to court to keep it from the public. And defender Kevin Dietz has that audit and the never before seen documents. Kevin. The state of Michigan spent two and a half million dollars to audit the city of Detroit's demolition program in 2016. Rather than release the findings, the state agency monitoring the program's funding fought like crazy in court to keep them a secret. But the secret's out now that the FBI is interviewing cooperating witnesses like demolition contractor Tim Drakeford, who met with federal agents three separate times in the corruption probe. Don't try to hide it because it's all going to come out like in the Bible. Whatever you do in the darkness shall come to the light. And that's what's happening. It's all come to fruition, full term. The city and state will tell you they are cooperating. What they did not do is make public this full audit that came to the conclusion that evidence suggests bid rigging and collusion between the Detroit Land Bank and the Detroit Business Authority. Activist Robert Davis first requested the audit in February 2017. So I sent FOIA requests to both the state the city, the land bank, and the building authority. And all of them said, no such document exists. Davis sued, taxpayers footing the bill for the state to fight turning over records. In December 2017, a judge ordered the release of meeting minutes that showed Mary Townley, who ran the state program monitoring federal money, met with Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan about the audit findings, and that the mayor then went to the city of Chicago to meet with the Treasury Department. What stuck out was the fact that the mayor was intimately involved. The Davis lawsuit also turned over this letter from Mary Townley to the U.S. Treasury. It's dated way back September 30th, 2016, and says there is an ongoing criminal investigation being conducted by the United States Attorney's Office and the FBI, and that the investigation thus far has focused on the Detroit Land Bank and the Detroit Building Authority, rather than the contractors. In February 2018, the judge ordered depositions. Mary Townley testified she met with the FBI on 10 occasions. Finally, the state gave up, turning it over to Robert Davis. The audit report, which they said didn't exist, which now exists. In it, dozens of examples of highly questionable billings, invitation-only meetings for contractors to discuss pricing, evidence of no-bid contracts, admissions of concealing price manipulations, inflating of invoices, evidence of bid rigging and collusion. Davis thinks the court battle to keep the audit secret was a conspiracy. They didn't want to release this audit report during the election that was held here in the city of Detroit because they didn't want to hurt the mayor of the city of Detroit. That's what this whole, whole thing is all about. The city says that is ridiculous. They did not release the audit because they didn't have it, insisting they have been transparent about mistakes made, the reimbursement of $6.37 million plus $2.5 million in investigative costs, and how new procedures are now in place. Pointing out the federal program has awarded Detroit over $100 million since the corrections were made. All right, that's our Kevin Dietz reporting. Now, the city would not go on camera for an interview, but they did send us this statement, and it reads thusly. The city has been completely transparent with its demolition program and has fully cooperated with every state and federal inquiry into the program. All of the issues raised in the MHA audit were addressed and resolved a year ago and detailed in two press conferences conducted by Mayor Duggan. The land bank and the state agreed on a financial settlement over disputed billings to the state, and there was no finding of wrongdoing on the part of the city or the land bank. Since these issues were settled, the U.S. Treasury Department has released another $132 million to Detroit's demolition program to allow it to continue its work. The city could not release the MHA audit after it was completed because it was never provided with a copy until just recently after the MHA released it in response to a FOIA request. Once the city received a copy of the audit, we released it upon request. State of Michigan uh, also responded to uh, our report, and you can see their statement at clickondetroit.com.